I certainly didn't expect to be doing one this fast, but I just we got some really big news on the uh, casting of the Iron Claw movie uh, based on the Von Erich family. And I wanted to go ahead and toss out a little something here. I uh, had several people in the comments saying, you know, we need to get some some more real wrestlers in there. There, there is uh, there are going to be some real wrestlers sprinkled throughout the movie. I'm quite sure there always are whenever they do something involving professional wrestling. A couple hours after I put out that last video, they actually released this photo uh, from on set while, while they were shooting. This is Zac Efron uh, in action as Kevin Von Erich, and that is actually Chavo Guerrero Jr. that is uh, in the ring with him. And you can tell from that, uh, those of you that remember the Sportatorium, they did a pretty good job in recreating the look of the Sportatorium. The ring looks great. And uh, of course, like I say, they'll they'll have, I'm sure they'll have professional wrestlers scattered throughout it. But we got our first, what I'm assuming will be not a huge part, could be a, a significant part that will be played by a professional wrestler. It was announced today as I'm making this, uh, the part of Lance Von Erich has been cast. And that part will go to Maxwell Jacob Friedman. And if you, if you still follow professional wrestling at all, uh, you'll know that Maxwell Jacob Friedman, uh, otherwise known as MJF, is a uh, one of the top stars in AEW. As far as I know, he had, doesn't have any uh, actual acting credits to his name. As, as far as I know, he's never been on any kind of TV show or in any kind of movie. Uh, but he has been cast as Lance in The Iron Claw. Maxwell J. Friedman is 26 years old. He is originally from New York City. He made his pro wrestling debut in 2015 under the name Maxwell Jacob Feinstein in Create A Pro Wrestling. Uh, he also appeared in Five Borough Wrestling. These are indie circuits. Uh, also Combat Zone Wrestling uh, through 2015 through about 2018. I guess what might be considered his first big break was uh, making his debut in 2017 in... Major League Wrestling, where he actually appeared with Ross and Marshall Von Erich. So he's been in the ring with, uh, with Kevin's sons. He actually held the MLW uh, World Middleweight Championship for a time. And of course, in 2018, he signed with All Elite Wrestling. That's what really shot him up uh, to stardom. Uh, eventually, changed, in 2019, he changed his name to Maxwell Jacob Friedman making his debut during the pre-show of the uh, AEW Double or Nothing event. He has really caught the eye of, of a lot of even old-school wrestling fans. He's, he's become very popular. He is a heel, but uh, he's one of those guys that, that back in the day, they probably wouldn't have been able to keep him a heel for long. Maybe getting off into my opinion more than anything, I think a tweener is, is kind of the best place for him because he's a, an excellent heel. But... Uh, even the Jim Cornettes of the, of the wrestling world uh, love uh, Maxwell Jacob Friedman. So. And of course, in this movie, if you're not aware, Lance Von Erich, otherwise known as the quote-unquote fake Von Erich, uh, his real name was Kevin, or excuse me, William Kevin Vaughn, uh, wrestled under the, the name Ricky Vaughn in the Pacific Northwest. And in 1985, when... Um, you know, after David had passed away and Mike was in the hospital due to toxic shock syndrome, they just had Kevin and Carrie left, and, and they brought in Cousin Lance, who they had name-dropped before. A lot of people don't remember it. They actually brought up the name Lance Von Erich before, I, I believe, when they thought David was going to get a run with the world title, and then the NWA changed their mind. I think that that was probably the plan then, as they were going to bring in Cousin Lance, at that time, and then they had to uh, to backtrack on that. But when it got down, they only had two Von Erichs left. Uh, they brought in Cousin Lance. And uh, the thing about it is that uh, a lot of people in the crowd knew he wasn't really a Von Erich because the guy, I believe he was actually from Arlington. But uh, things did not go particularly well. Uh, I know that um, it was Fritz's idea. I know that Kevin and Kerry were both against it. They brought him in anyway. He did have a, a fairly long run, and a little over a year, about a year and a half maybe. And then he asked for more money, and uh, and that was the end of that. He he moved on to the uh, 
what they call outlaw wrestling at the time, Wild West wrestling that was uh, there in Dallas, and, and a rare break of kayfabe uh, for the time. They actually uh, admitted on air, Fritz actually, uh, during a, a segment on the Saturday Night Wrestling Show, Fritz actually went on air and admitted that uh, Lance Von Erich was not really a Von Erich cousin. A very strange set of circumstances for the time, uh, but something that, uh, that world-class wrestling fans are, are sure to remember. So that's, uh, I think that's a, a pretty big signing. Uh, MJF playing Lance Von Erich. Does he look much like Lance? At, at, at first I thought, eh, I don't know about that, but I don't know, the more I look at him, you, you get the, the hair dyed right. It's actually not too bad. And that is sure to also draw the, the eyes of the modern day wrestling fan. Uh, perhaps some, some folks that may not necessarily be that much into it. Now, you know, maybe the Von Erichs were a little before their time. They're not MLW fans, so maybe Ross and Marshall aren't really on their radar. This could, uh, finding out that MJF is, is in the movie, that maybe that'll spark some interest even with the modern day wrestling fans. So there you go, Maxwell J. Friedman playing Lance Von Erich. He is added to people that have been cast. Of course, Zach Efron, we, we know, is playing Kevin Von Erich. Jerry May Allen White playing Kerry Von Erich. And Harris Dickinson playing David Von Erich. I'll leave links to the other videos at, uh, at the end of the, the uh, video. I'll also put links in the description if you want to check out the, the first two videos on the casting of that. I would have waited until more was out and, and done a little bit longer video, but I thought that was a pretty big deal to have a MJF announced for the casting. So uh, check out those other videos. Or you can check out other videos on the channel. If you haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Not necessarily in that order. And I will see you next time.